Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Morgan Price and today we are in Stationeers. So today is a tutorial on power generation. Um, but first, before I go too much further, I want to say thank you to Baldrick for giving me an in-depth and informative critique on my last um, tutorial on cable management and and power distribution systems. Thank you so much. I will actually wind up redoing that um, sometime in the near future, probably in the next week or so. But thank you. That is right up what the alley I needed it to be. Thank you so much. Anyway, we're going to get into this. So the things to think about. Fuel is important. Technically, everything here runs on some form of fuel, be it the sun, wind, coal, air pressure, or fuel. Um, what I would call free energy takes space. So, solar panels, wind turbines, um, these pressure turbines, they all take space. So, they don't produce tons, but they also don't cost, hmm, how would I put this? I call them free energy because you don't have to go out and produce the materials. Like the solid fuel generator, you have to mine coal in order to get it to work. Um, the gas generator, the one over here behind me, um, takes gas, which you have to produce. So, yeah, those take your energy and the energy of the things you are, you are um, putting into them to fuel them, but they also produce a significantly higher amount of energy. Um, everything has its working conditions. These guys need air pressure. These guys need sun. This guy needs a fuel canister. This guy needs coal. This guy needs air pressure, low on one side, high on the other. And this guy needs um, air pressure, uh, fuel, and temperature control. He's a fiddly monster. I will tell you a little bit more about him in a minute. In fact, that leads us right into the next one. High generation rate requires finesse. So this guy requires a robust cooling system because he generates a humongous amount of heat. Not only is his exhaust hot at 1200 degrees Celsius, um, he just, within his, if you put him in an enclosure, he is going to generate a lot of heat in that enclosure, and you want to make sure you have a lot of air movement around him to cool him off and keep him running at peak performance. But, done right, you can make 75 kilowatts or better off of this guy. By far one of the best generation rates in the game. So we're going to get into our startup things. So the first guy you're going to deal with is this one right here, the portable generator. Now this guy is actually pretty neat because he also works as a battery charger. You can, as I have done here, tie him into your base power grid. And I believe this guy makes 310 watts. Um, let's see, uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, portable generator f uses fuel, produces 310 watts. So yeah, um, now, as I said, he's also a battery charger and he works reasonably fast depending on the battery you put in. If you put in a nuclear battery cell, that's going to take a long time, but it takes a long time in an um, area power controller. It takes a long time in a battery charger. Nuclear cells hold um, 2,304,000 watts. So you're putting a ton of power in, whereas this only holds 3,000 or 36,000 watts. So it's a massive difference, so it's going to charge this guy pretty quickly, and you can tie him into your power grid. If you cool him, much like you would his big brother over there, he will produce even more power. Now, 
On to our mainstays. These are the basic versions of the solar panels. You have a flat and you have an angled. Um, when they are operating at 100% efficiency, which this guy is approaching, um, they can produce 500 watts of power. Uh, you have to be fiddly to get 100 or 100% efficiency out of them, though. Now, this guy's cousin sits over here. This one can be tied into logic. There, much with this one, there is another version of this, a heavy version that doesn't take damage in storms, but it requires more um, materials. So we'll hit F1 and we will go to solar here. All right, so if you go with the heavy solar panel, um, we'll just check the dual. So, uh, so kit, solar panel heavy, uh, go to the kit. There we go. So see, it's going to need Astroloy and Electrum, whereas your standard solar panel does not. So let's pop back one. And uh, kit, solar panel. This guy only requires steel, copper, and gold. So he's he's a lot easier to produce than the heavy variant, but the heavy variant doesn't need to be repaired. So you're not going to need to use tons of duct tape anytime there's a storm. This guy can be tied into logic, but you can also adjust him by hand by using a wrench and clicking on the black and white parts that you see here. Um, rotate left, rotate right, tilt up, tilt down. So, yeah, um, easy to be moved around. They produce 500 watts of power per panel at 100% efficiency. We're going to move on to the next guy. Now, this one also comes in your starter kit. You will get one of those, you will get one of these, and you will get one of those. So you have the portable generator, you have a basic um, solar panel, and you have a solid fuel generator. This guy burns coal. This guy... I believe produces some form of pollution, but I'm not 100% sure, and I haven't had time to actually go in and test this theory out. He will produce 20 kilowatts at peak. The only way to get him to perform at peak is to hook him to a station battery, one of the short, well, any form of super large battery. So, um, the large station battery or a regular station battery will draw everything this guy can produce. So keep that in mind when making your emergency systems. Um, like if you are going to put this as an emergency power outside your base, connect it in with a heavy cable because you will fry a small cable with his full output. Moving on, we have the up white... My, pro my bad there. We have the upright wind turbine. I tried to combine upright and wind into one, apparently. Anyway, the upright wind turbine. This guy can produce, um, I believe his base is uh, 5 kilowatts in a storm. So... I can actually get you better information from here, or at least the information here. Uh, upright wind turbine. There we go. Okay, so he will produce 200 watts normally, even on a low atmosphere. And if you get into a storm, he will produce up to 800 watts. Um, so plan accordingly. Um, his big brother here function similarly the the conditions that this guy needs to function is atmosphere won't work here on the moon there is no air um this guy will produce 500 watts passively and produce i believe 10 kilowatts in a storm um so yeah so about the operating conditions for solar panels 
Solar panels actually do require you to have a reasonable amount of sunlight. Um, these will um, get the same amount of sunlight the Earth gets on this planet, but if you are on, say, Europa, which is at a different position, it, I think it gets like maybe 70% of the sunlight, so you won't produce as much power off of solar panels as you will off of other methods. Anyway, we've covered wind generation, now we're going on to this guy. I call him a pressure turbine, he is just listed as a turbine in the um, F1 wiki. So this guy requires low pressure on one side, high pressure on the other. It spins that turbine, produces 90 watts of power. You can make perpetual motion machines with this guy if you so chose. I've actually built an example over there, and we will get into that in just a few minutes. We are going to go to the gas fuel generator, and then we'll show the honorable mentions and the exemplar that I've put together. So. Gas fuel generator. This guy is tricky. I've already covered him a little bit, but if you are going to want to use this as your mainstay, I cannot stress enough. Make a re robust cooling system. Um, if you're on Mars, at night it gets cold. Put that air in a tank, and in the morning, use it to cool your generator. Um, high flow through... Uh, there are actual tutorials. I believe Cows Are Evil, who is another YouTuber, has one where he was experimenting with the gas generator on Mars and actually got it working. So um, you can go to his channel and take a look and see what he did. Anyway, with that, we're going to go to the honorable mentions. These guys are RTGs. This guy is a creative RTG. This guy is a survival RTG. I have a mod that allows me to build one of these once um, I have the uh, materials, and it takes uh, the um, high-end materials. It takes, like, Asteroid and the like. You can tell the difference because this guy has the power symbol on him. This guy does not. This guy produces 4 kilowatts. This guy produces 600 watts. Um, you, if you were to run your base off of these guys, you would need a room full. Um, I have found that these guys are useful as power for airlocks, power for lighting systems, uh, things like that. Um, but too many lights will, of course, shut it down. Um, and moving on, let's show off this. Now this guy, this is a wind tunnel, pure and simple. This here doesn't actually draw a ton of power. Um, I think it is maybe 10 watts at the most. Let, let's, let's crank it up. So how this works. Um, this thing has amazing throughput, as long as the input pipe, so this pipe here is a really long pipe, it will move a ton of air through it. And if you put a short pipe on this side, it puts it out at a reasonably high pressure. So you get high pressure down here, and low pressure down here, because you have um, two passive vents, which allow the air to flow through reasonably well. You can do it with one, but it actually works more efficiently with two. Uh, I'm not sure of the math on that, because math is not my strong point. Anyway, each one of these will produce 90 watts, meaning this will make 450 watts of power with the five turbines I have in it. You can expand this out a lot, but like I said over there, free energy requires space. So we're going to grab our network analyzer real quick and take a look at what power this guy is drawing. Okay, so this guy is drawing 57... Oh no, no, filtration. He's fluctuating between 10 and 57 watts. Um, now, it used to be only 5 watts. 
uh, they must have changed something in the latest update to curtail that because this is a little bit OP. I mean, it, it's essentially free energy, so yeah. Um, with that, please let me know if you like this by clicking that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below and please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And just to reiterate, thank you, Baldrick. I really appreciate the critique.